Hi, this is Charles Johnson with Mandolin World Headquarters in Richmond, Virginia. I have here a black uh, Gibson L00. It's, uh, it might be an LO, I'm not sure. It's got the nice fire stripe guard on it. And I can't find the uh, order number in the span book. It feels like a late 30s, early 40s guitar. It feels like, like a 40 or a 41. Um, the neck profile is not a 30s V, it's more of a rounded V. Almost almost like going into the banners, but not quite as big as a banner. But that's why it feels to me like it's probably, uh, we'll call it a 1940 guitar. It might be a 41. And the, it's, hard, it's hard to really date this era guitar. It does have the white fire, or, or it's got the uh, gold. Well, it's actually white, it's just yellowed over the years, Gibson script on it. So it's definitely an old guitar. Put a little bit before you with a lap pick. Big sounding guitar, lots of bass response which uh, you don't always find in Gibsons, but it's got a really good bottom end to it. This thing's actually got a G run on it, uh, which you don't find in a lot of L double O's. I'm gonna play a little finger style for you. I'm not a great finger style player, but bear with me. That's it's good guitar, no breaks, no cracks. Uh, like I said, the act, the saddle's all the way down, but the action's very playable. It's got a good, uh, good uh, feel to it. Be good for ragtime, finger blues. It's got, uh, like I said, the Clusons. These are old tuners, and they look like '40s tuners to me. So, and it's got a truss rod, adjustable truss rod in the peg head, obviously. So it's not really early. I think this is probably right before the. Uh, Right before the Banner Peghead stuff came out. I think this is probably a 40 or a 41. I um, hope you like it. Uh, it's good sounding, good playing guitar. No cracks, no breaks. Original finish. Thanks.